Hi friends, uh, in this video, we will see a project on Power BI. Uh, as you can see on my screen, there is a Power BI dashboard report, uh, which is created based on the airlines data available from uh, CAA website from uh, gov.uk. So this data is for 26 airports in the UK and data is about traveling from UK or to UK. Uh, so before digging into this dashboard let's see how the data was available and get more insights from the data first so the data is available as punctuality statistics of 2022 so this data set is for many years like from 1990 to 2022 and we have captured the recent data only so the data is available in different format one summary full analysis and monthly so we will see about full analysis only so let me download it and show it so this data is in csp file and data set has different uh, fields one is rented so when this data was available uh, so it's 1612 reporting error period so it's for october 2022 october so this reporting airport has uh, different airports these airports are of all from uk Okay. and then origination destination country so suppose it's poland if it is uk internally it would be uk otherwise it will have all the countries from where uh, flights are flying from this airport reporting airport and the origin destination as well so suppose if i filter here for switzerland okay i can see all the destinations from switzerland uh, where this flight will be flying the airline names if it's arrival or departure then if it is schedule or charter flight uh, people be mostly interested in scheduled flights uh, the number of flights that have been flown uh, this actual number of flight we can ignore uh, number of flight cancelled so that's again an important field and then there are fields which are in percentage sign so these two fields denote if the flight is early or on time like between 1 to 15 minutes and more than 15 minutes so these two fields indicate if the flight is early uh, the rest of the fields like 0 to 15 minutes late 16 to 30 31 to 60 and 61 and uh, until 180 minutes no it's still 360 minutes so these all fields indicate the percentage uh, of like flights which are delayed okay and then we have a flight cancelled percent but again we can ignore this field because we already have an actual number of flight cancelled and this again is an uh, important field average delay in minutes so just to understand how much delay this flight has been uh, for uh, that particular month okay the data is at monthly level so i think yeah that's all the important fields are the number of flights matches like how many flights were flown and that's entire month for this origin destination by this airline so this looks data sets looks okay uh, so what we will be doing is that's part of next step let me show you the diagram how the data flow will be so this csp will be getting from ca we will storing it in google cloud storage and once we store it we will create an external table on top of this and then we will do some processing using view and use that view in power bi so right now i have this google cloud storage i have created a project name flight punctuality data uh, or a folder uh, and the project name is flight data analysis so the data set is the folder in it okay so if you see right now we have till 2020 09 okay similarly you can see we have like 2020 01 to 2020 09 okay let me upload file which we have downloaded now so this is the file so the upload is started yeah one file successfully uploaded now we can see like 2020 file so we are done with uploading our file and in this we have created two tables one is this flight flying tables so we have created an external table on top of it uh, like ps flight functionality data so this is the source url where we can get see all the csps and then we have mentioned some formulas like skip leading rows one so this after 
auto detect schema is equal to true so automatically we can see the schema as well so let me go to schema and scheme so see all the fields are automatically generated correctly like if it is string integer or float so we have the required data now okay in the table format but uh as you can see like if these are these data are in percentage so really if we want to tell anything in power bi or display anything as visualization it won't make a correct uh, sense out of it if the numbers are in percentage so let's uh, see how we can generate the actual number to generate the actual number uh, we have just uh, feed that table and created a query on top of it okay the query will look like this okay so we have this some fields as it is we have pulled it from the tables or uh, directly okay we have added certain filters to ignore the unwanted data set or the incorrect data set which is not required for analysis okay we have transformed the data like if it is arrival or departure into a more accurate format okay and for the filters uh, or for the percentage okay we have generated an actual value based on number of flight match so number of flight was an actual number how much flights were flying so based on that uh, what we did was we divided the percentage so these were the flights 15 late early percentage so we calculated the actual flight from it okay from it so these are two for the positive and we have given a negative symbol for the negative late flights so we can see uh, the flights in my uh, minus or minus number so that you can understand from it yeah these are the negative numbers and there was one average delay minute so we have used this now coming back to power bi report okay so this is a power bi report where we have a slicer field as well okay so this is a slow slicer high slicer uh, button okay so this is done using bookmark uh, so if you want to do something like this you need to use bookmarks effectively and uh, so this is the bookmark and based on it uh, you can do this so basically this was done in order to uh, save some space so that we can show charts more effectively uh, apart from this button i have one more button in my chart okay suppose if i am selecting all these are getting refreshed but at any point of time if i need to reset this i need to just clear filters using this so this charts will again refresh okay uh, now let me do a slicer okay now if i am selecting arrival okay let me tell you how this chart will be helpful so this chart if you are planning your next flight uh, but are concerned about the likelihood of cancellation or delays uh, you may want to check your airlines track record for punctuality on specific routes to and from the uk then this chart will help you to get that information okay and, uh, apart from the people uh, government agencies or the airline authorities can also use this chart in order to see the performance of that flight uh, so my data story is like uh, if i am traveling suppose to london from italy okay so i will select here arrival for the first time okay so i am arrival in the countries i will select go and select italy okay let me go and select italy so i have selected italy okay and now the cities will be activated which city i want to go to so let me select milan okay now there are multiple airports uh, which I can select, but for me, Heathrow Airport and London City Airports are nearby. So I am selecting both Heathrow and London. So now I have left with two flights. Uh, that's okay. Now I need to select from both of these flights. So you can see in the slicer window, you can see the fields which we have selected here country. If there are multiple, it doesn't show up. So once the slicers work is done and I will do my analysis for 2020-01 to 2020-09. Oh, but I forgot. I think we have uploaded the file as well. Uh, so we can refresh our data set. Okay. And let's, while refreshing, we can see now it's evaluating the data. Now it will create, connect to a Google BigQuery. Okay. 
and using google pick query now we can retrieve the data so it will take a minute to retrieve the data and then we should be good yeah we are done so the data set will refresh now see you can see now automatically it's showing 2020 10. okay so that's the best part like you can easily uh, you just need to add and refresh here it will automatically refresh so slicer work is done let me hide it now we have two reporting airports okay and as we have selected two uh, london Heathrow and city london city airport so for these two airports for this duration almost two more than 2000 flights are there have been thrown from uh, during this period and there are two airlines which we will be doing analysis on and even thing to notice that 51 flights have got cancelled uh, during this time and average delay by minutes was 11 minutes so to start with the first chart is like flight early versus delay chart okay so now for these two airlines you can see this IT Italia transport to Aereo. This has around 90 minutes of positive time, but British Airway has minus 222. So this flight British Airways UP cannot select as we can see, like here it's almost more than 200 minutes late during as aggregated during this period. So here the correct winner would be Italia transport to even uh, if we then let's go to airlines wise like how much is the difference between so if we can see like by airlines as well uh both these flights don't have that much difference like we can choose either any of them uh, because both are flying for the similar number of times like 1039983 there is no much difference but now yeah if you want to select by airport like which airport you should select so your flight would be majorly flying from Heathrow Airport as it is like 1547 and 475. Uh, though 475 is not a less number, uh, but yeah, for 10 months it's a less number. Uh, so mostly you should probably check with Heathrow because you will get their multiple uh, airlines options, timing options. Then let's go to average delay minutes by airlines in months. Okay. So if you see here, uh, both of these uh, are delayed getting seen. Like there is no much difference like how it is progressing. So this chart will be helpful for airline authorities as well, as well as for the people traveling. If you need to see the recent trend, you can see like from 2020-07, it was 25 minutes late, then it came back to six, then it's again 25, and then it again come to six so just need to understand the pattern like why it is going like this like 25 to 6 25 to 6 so is there any things happening between alternate ones we need we can do more analysis on this so slime charts help us to do an analysis on the continuous basis how it is getting a change now flight getting cancelled by airline so british airways again has a higher number compared to ita the 35 flights are getting cancelled uh, during this period and this flight are also getting cancelled mostly from the Heathrow airport uh, because yeah, we can understand that Heathrow is the airport where maximum flight are getting flown from uh, London to Italy or Italy to London and less number from 14. So if we need to see the recent data also we can change it and see like how recently it is performing. Still it's 50 and higher side discounts are similar. This is Hetro is again winner here. London City 9 and 7. Oh, this cancellation is getting close. Uh, London City has higher number of flights getting cancelled than Hetro. So it's better to select Hetro uh, than London City. Though there are less number of flights. Only 160 out of which 9 are getting cancelled. So that's a higher ratio. And even IT is getting cancelled more than British Airways. But yeah, it's if we want to go up with the punctuality, IT is the clear winner. So this is the overall chart. Apart from that, uh, things to notice is uh, we have not added too much colors in this chart. And the primary reason for not adding is we want to have a data ink ratio. So data ink ratio concept from data visualization was implemented like unnecessary grid lines or access labels were not created. So no theme was selected uh, because it would have added unnecessary colors. 
unnecessary chart elements like legends and data labels were not uh, used as they did not provide any additional information so keeping your chart clean and using color less color uh, and just color should be used to only represent information so that's a basic principle of data ink ratio which was implemented even the font you can see like font is similar across there is no difference in fonts which will distract the user from seeing the actual data and uh, there is one more principle in data visualization is like z ordering so a user will see the data in a z order manner so it will start from here uh, so here from here it will go in z order then you will see this chart and then he will come across so you need to place your chart accordingly so that the user's attraction will go first on the chart which is more viable for your visualization i think we are good with this i will uh, if you want this please do comment out uh, in the comment section and can i can provide this power bi dashboard along with all the details as well uh, thank you for listening